A federal high court in Yenogoa, Bayosa State, has sentenced one Yunusa Dahiru to 26 years in prison for kidnapping Esa Ururu, then a teenager. The police out in March 2016 arraigned Dahiru on a five-count charge bordering on abduction, kidnapping, unlawful counter knowledge and sexual exploitation of Ururu, who was 14 years old at the time. Delivering the judgment on Thursday, Jane Inyang, the judge, found Dahiru guilty on four out of the five of the charges preferred against him. On count one, he was found not guilty. Count two, he got a five-year sentence. On count three, he got seven years. And on count four, seven years. The judge held that the sentences would run concurrently. This means that the convict would only spend seven years in prison. Speaking after the matter became public, Bala Dahiru, Yunusa's father, declared that there was no marriage between his son and Essay because it would have been illegal. I'm not comfortable with the part of the judgment that said the sentence should run consecutively. That's the only aspect I'm not comfortable with. Though we had some challenges during the course of the trial, there are six other witnesses we needed to have called in this matter. Two of them residents here, four of them in Kano, but none of them was available. The very little girl kidnapped out of uh, Bayasa State came in in, in, in a, a, I would like to say a battered situation because she came in with pregnancy, a very little girl. And so we said that justice must be done in this case. That is why we followed this case of Abuja Owere and at the end of the day, today the justice we are seeking for has been done. My message for pedophiles out there is that, um, you know, um, it's to serve as a serious deterrence to perpetrators out there and um, justice was fair enough in this matter. This case is really, we serve a deterrent to others who have been trafficking people's children and uh, I thank God that the truth has prevailed today and thank God and my family we are very happy.